How are we doing everybody? Welcome back to the bench. Today I was just going to do a little rundown video of my RCs. Uh, just no particular order, just a quick rundown of everything I've got. I don't have a huge collection by any means, but I've got a few and we'll go through them. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better day. Start with my max. So my Traxxas Max. This is not the V2 or version two. Um, this is an original. I am on my second body. Um, there is a video for when I painted that. Um, but I did the Wide Max kit, and I think that's about it for this truck um, it's been bashed I got tweaks in the front bumper um, you get the different springs if I remember correctly when you do the wide max kit um, this is a good basher this is I don't own any other bashers I guess really this is the ultimate basher. I do have, last time I ran it, I had a binding issue. Um, the truck would just drop out, would quit working, and then it would come back. Um, it'd get not real far away, like certainly not out of range, and it would quit working. So, um, I don't know. I've since paired my original radio back to it. I, I tried the Traxxas, uh, let me see here, the uh, like one, one radio to rule them all kind of a deal where supposedly you can pair this to, I don't know, 25 trucks. And then all my other ones can go away. So I tried that and I had diff locking issues on my trucks that had diff lockers. I had the binding issue with this truck. Uh, so I've since paired all my original radios to all the trucks they came with and that's how I'm doing it. I don't, I don't know I don't know if that was the issue or not, but I don't know. Until I get this thing back out, we'll see. But I've definitely fixed my diff locker problems in my other one. Anyway, if I do that kind of talking with every truck I got, we're going to be here for a week. So yeah, that's my max. I'll show you real quick. There's my OG body. Is the blue one just just thrashed thrashed it went to uh, the skate park early on in its life and yeah that's my Traxxas Max TRX4 Sport first truck I ever bought first one tenth scale RC I ever got you guys know him as Frank. I know him as Frank. And he has had his front and rear bumper mounts flipped to give a better uh, approach angle. The servo horn that came on it broke, so he's got a metal servo, servo horn. Uh, he's got these red metal diff covers Again, the approach angle, 
He's got the rack, the meters, and the snorkel kit. And then he just recently got a set of Proline high racks, which I had in the tire rack. Um, I don't remember which compound that color means. Um, so I don't know, these feel really soft until we get him out. We won't know if he's got any gains or not, but that's coming. That's my TRX4 Sport, Frank. Next, we've got my TRX4 Defender, scale and trail crawler. Um, I took the Canyon Trails off of it. Um, this is just a trail truck. I don't try to do much rock crawling with it. Um, he's got these Falcon Wild Peaks on it with these wheels. He does have the light kit in him. Um, a fifth spare and Falcon Wild Peak. I don't believe there's anything going on under this guy. He's, the body has the fenders. Uh, it's, it's your basic defender. Two speed, front and locking, rear diffs. Um, I put these traction boards on there. I kind of painted the jack and the auxiliary fuel cans, if you will. Uh, that's about it. This is also on its second body because I had I bought it as a gray one. I stickered it up and everything and then I decided I didn't really like it. And then cleaning the sticker residue off, it junked up the Lexan. So then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try painting the exterior. And so I went with that color scheme, which is a white roof and a green body. And everything was going pretty well until I tried to put clear coat on it and it destroyed it. 100% destroyed. I don't know, this thing could probably be its shoe good on the inside. Um, I don't know, I haven't gotten rid of it. I think maybe, maybe it could be salvaged someday if I get bored enough, but yeah. Yeah, no good there. So yeah, that's my Defender. Next up, we've got my TRX4 79 Bronco. Um, again, this one's just a trail truck. I really, I really like this truck a lot. Um, I think it looks really good. This one has the light kit in it. Um, I put, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that or not. I've got RC four-wheel drive 80 millimeter shocks in it with their red shock boots. There you can kind of see. Uh, kind of looks like a Rancho kit from back in the day. Uh, pretty cool. And then these Duratrax. Uh, I'm not even sure what these are actually. Duratrax pivots. And they are a 1.9. It's a nice low scale looking truck in my opinion. Uh, this does also have, if you looked earlier, the SSD straight axle kit or SSD TRX4 portal delete kit. So I've deleted the portals on this truck, dropped it to a straight axle used a paint marker and kind of silvered those dots on the fake beadlock ring there. And I don't know. I just think this truck looks good. This truck 
films really well when it's driving. Drives really nice. When you take the portals off, obviously, you lose the gear reduction. But then you also have your gears going the other direction. Because you lose a gear set. So I had to go in and manually change my transmitter to change the throttle control and reverse it. Because otherwise this truck just went in reverse. And without the gear reduction, this thing is wild. So I run it on in first gear or low gear, I guess, if you will. And I just run this truck on 2S. Because otherwise it's just wild. And it's just a trail truck. Just a, just a good looking trail truck. So yeah, that's my 79 Bronco. One of my favorites in the fleet, actually. Next up is my Axial SCX 10-3 early Ford Bronco. Um, I don't know, I really like this truck too, honestly. Um, I got some Traxxas little recovery D-rings on there. Uh, this does come with a light kit, so it's in there. I took the grill off and kind of gave it the chrome accents and colored in the Ford logo there. I painted the little shifter knobs on the inside. I took the spare tire off and just put a couple of fuel packs there. I took the factory wheels off and tires, which are on my Defender that you already saw. I moved that set to that truck. And this thing got the Nitto Trail Grappler MTs. I think they look good on it. The body is a pain to put on and off with this thing with these hidden clips underneath. I think it's a good idea because you don't see the body pins up top, but it's, it is a pain. This is a straight axle truck. Um, it did come with 100 millimeter axial shocks and I felt like it sat weird. Uh, the torque twist was freaking wild with a straight axle truck and 100 mil shocks. So I took them off and put uh, 90 mil Traxxas shocks off my Bronco that we just saw. Because that thing got the 80 mil RC four-wheel drive shocks, if you remember from five minutes ago. And so the 90 mil Traxxas shocks that were on the Bron the 79 Bronco went onto this Bronco. Because this came with 100 mil shocks, which I have in a parts drawer right here for something coming up here soon. But, yeah. This is a good truck, good looking. I like the interior, I like the roll cage. I removed all the stickers off the truck when I got it and did my own set here. So I've got all the black on black, basically. It came, everything was like blue, blue stickers everywhere. And so I put these black ones on, got the little three there. I don't know. I think it's a good looking truck. The Capra. This thing can crawl. This thing, I don't. I can't say enough good things about this. I don't know if there's a massive amount of people out there that hate the Capra. Or not, I guess. I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. This truck, or whatever you want to call it, is awesome. This thing does really well. Uh, comes with the light kit, so you got the lights and the light bar. My light bar's got some LEDs out in it. It is what it is. It takes a very specific battery to fit this tray in here. Um, I managed to find a couple on Amazon 
that fit perfectly. And then I just had to change the connector because I couldn't find the perfect battery in the right connector. So it is what it is, but servo on axle, portals. It is wide, but it, I don't know, it climbs really well. Um, you do get some flex. I've seen these axles in some wild, wild positions, like tweaked to where, oh, that's going to snap. And they haven't yet. When they do, I'll probably put some Vitavons on there, all metal. This truck, this thing performs, man. I, will, I love it. Look at the flex on this thing. That's still all three on the ground. There's my hand. Thing's awesome. Uh, stock shocks, I did put the skids on it. So I've got stainless front and rear diff covers and then this belly kind of skid. You can see everything's just scratched up because it drags. I try to crawl this thing on some, on some of the gnarlier stuff stuff we have around here and it does pretty good um i do have some trio bead locks with the center hub so you can't see the nut i like those a lot and this is on a set of proline hyrax also but the the color dot is worn off of this set but this was the other color so i'm not sure what compound they are again i don't remember one of them's the Predator compound and one of them's the other. I don't know. I don't know which one's which, but yeah. Capra. It's worth if you like crawling rocks and trying to do wild wild crawls. This thing will crawl like this. I mean, it's it's an it's nuts. Get a Capra. I like I like Capras a lot. And we're on to the RC four-wheel drive stuff. This is my Trailfinder 3, uh, my first RC four-wheel drive vehicle. Um, I don't know, there's, I think there's a certain group of people that are into RC four-wheel drive stuff. I'm one of those people, or I fit into that group. Um, I don't know, when it comes to when it comes to scale vehicles, I, I don't know. I think, I think they're doing it. So this one's obviously the Mojave two-door body set, but it's the Trailfinder 3 chassis, which has the bell crank steering servo mechanism, which I'm not a big fan of. But I've put metal bumpers on this, metal rock sliders, metal rear bumpers, the worn winch, um, it all it all works. Um, this tire set is actually off the Element Night Runner, um, but the most recent one, the blue one, with like it had the tan wheels and then this General Grabber tire set. Um, I ordered these from Element and then just used a paint marker. And kind of left the tan to kind of go with the sticker sheet. And then silvered the rest to go with the silver. I don't know. I think it looks... I think it looks good. It is a leaf sprung truck. So it's a little little bouncy. Um, but I don't know. I like it a lot. One of the mirrors is already broke off, obviously. One of the wipers is gone. But whatever dude this i like this truck a lot um i did the interior myself it was like my first my first interior paint freaking whatever kind of a deal i don't know i'm pleased with how it turned out um it needs more run time obviously uh, None of my trucks are that old. I haven't been in the hobby that long. And I kind of just cannonballed in. So I'm, I don't know, I'm out of my mind, most people would say. But I have a lot of trucks for only being in the hobby for 
not very long, but I enjoy it. So there's nothing wrong with that. And another RC four wheel drive. This is the Galande two D 90. Another awesome truck. I need to get some like graphite powder or something and kind of do some, do some things. But I took the one nines off of this truck, gave it these stamp steel landies. And uh, I think these are rock crushers. Yeah, rock crusher tires. Um, I think they look better. This is actually the stock tire. Um, just big and I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about. It's all preference. I prefer this. This does have the light kit in it. Um, which if you saw my most recent video, I cleaned up and wire loomed and everything. And um, I deleted the rear interior in this truck. I don't know if you can open the back door there. You get a nice bed pan, really. It's like, did I say bed pan? I did. Anyway, that looks a lot better than what was in there. You can go back to that video and see what was in there if you like. And then I got the inner fender kit. Um, again, RC four wheel drive is doing, when it comes to scale, I don't know that anybody's doing any better unless you're 100% making your own truck. Hard bodies, no Lexan, just nice, nice trail rigs. I like them a lot. So yeah, that's my Land Rover Defender D90 Autobiography Edition, I believe. 2015 Land Rover. Here's just a little something we'll throw in quick. This is the Red Cat Cyclone XB10. I bought this for my son years ago. I mean, I'm talking like maybe decade, maybe a decade ago. I don't even remember how old he was when I got it, but I got it for him. I think I bought it at Best Buy for like a hundred bucks. And it's just a little buggy. It's been jumped, it's broken here. Um, uh, I put new, tires on it and I think I put a new motor in it because it seized up at one point and it's just all the stock stuff stock motor stock wheels and tires I found all the stuff on eBay there is a video I have where I run it on the local hobby shops carpet track um, it's not a performer it runs on nickel metal hydride um, it's just a little buggy these are the kinds of things I grew up with as a kid and so I bought one for my son. I don't remember if it was Christmas or birthday, like I said, decade ago maybe, I don't even know, a long time. And he really isn't into the hobby as much. So, uh, I mean, obviously I kept it around, um, but yeah, Cyclone XB10. I don't know if there's too many of them around, but I still have one. And last but not least, is the wrecker the big boy the rs the trx6 ultimate rc hauler from traxxas um i haven't even had this thing outside yet just there's there's a ton of snow i'm still like working on the scale details of this truck and where everything's gonna go it's got the light kit everywhere i've put the sound kit in it uh, I mean, this thing is just cool, man. I mean, for a big freaking truck, this thing, I really like it a lot. It's a, it's cool. It's big diff lock, six by six, six wheel drive. Say what you will. It fits my RC four wheel drive rigs perfectly. On the bed, the Traxxas stuff is too wide. I'm not sure why Traxxas didn't make their bed fit Traxxas trucks. 
but it does fit like the Traxxas race cars, I guess, or whatever. It just doesn't fit their crawlers. But anyway, um, yeah, I've got a couple videos out on this truck uh, if you want to go back and check them out. Um, certainly not done. We haven't even driven this thing yet. So, yeah.